Hi, thanks for stopping by again. We've got 13 new listings on the market yesterday, some pretty nice ones. Let's jump right into it, shall we? We will start with 1460 Bishopsgate. It's at uh, Unit 306. That's up in Glen Abbey at Third Line and Upper Middle Area. It's on for 214900 Pretty good value already. It's a one plus one, uh, so one bedroom plus a den. Uh, one bathroom. Uh, your fees are $224.50. Not too bad. That covers your basics. Parking, exterior maintenance, water, building insurance, the usual stuff. Um, you have two storage spaces, just over 700 square feet. So not too bad. The position is immediate, so that's great for anybody looking to jump right into something. Uh, if you need something kind of quickly, give me a shout. Let's go take a look at this one. Next, we've got 70 Stewart Street, Unit 102. That's in Central Oakville. It's just south of Kerr and Spears area. This is on for $338,990. It is a two-bedroom condo apartment, uh, two bathrooms. The condo fees are $282,10, and that covers your basics again, insurance, maintenance, parking, water. The possession on this one is not until April 2012. It hasn't been built yet, so if, you're, if you want a nice long closing, save up money for furniture or anything like that, this is a great one. Um, Kerr Village is getting to be quite trendy. It's really nice. They're bringing things up a lot. It, uh, so somebody looking for something modern and fresh, brand spanking new, this would be a nice one. It's just over 900 square feet as well. Not too shabby. Next we have 2422 Lazio Lane in West Oak Trails. It's up by Third Line in Dundas area. It's on at 359.9. This is a freehold townhouse. Two stories, three bedrooms. Hardwoods on the main floor. Inside access. Uh, you have a good little garage. Let me pop through and show you the pictures. Not too bad. Good little kitchen. Nice size rooms. It's a, it's a nice young neighborhood up there. Anybody looking um, with a young family or looking to start one, this might be a good place to start. Again, it's on at $359.9. Freehold in Oakville. Pretty good value. Next, we've got 490 Pineland Avenue in Oakville. That's in West Oakville. It's near 4th Line and Spears, just kind of southeast of there. It's on for $399.9. This is a fully detached bungalow. Good value, it sounds like. It's three bedrooms, fully finished basement, big lot. It's uh, 62 by 130, that's huge. It's been, has a few updates. Let's take a little look around. Hardwoods, um, good size place, not too huge. Needs some updating, but nothing, nothing you can't solve, right? Um, this is the kind of place you might see somebody come along and tear it down to build up a build up a new property. It's on a good lot, like I said, 62 by 130, so that's something that wouldn't shock me. 400 for that size lot's pretty pretty reasonable, not uh, not out of the question. Next, we've got 468 Winston Road in Oakville. This is on at 439,700. Um, this one's on a really good lot as well. It's 60 by 148. This is at Bridge Road and Fourth Line area. Good neighborhood, lots of schools around here. Um, very mature. It's got hardwood floors throughout. Let's take a look through. Pictures aren't the best, but we get the idea, right? If we want to go take a look at it, we can go. See for ourselves. Needs some updating, but not too bad. Next is 2180 Marine Drive, unit 1805. This is in Bronte. It's on at 439900. This is an adult community lifestyle. Sorry, adult lifestyle community. Um, it tends to be empty nesters, retirees, things like that. The condo fees, sorry, it's a two bedroom, two bath. The condo fees on this one are steep. They are 80480, but you get quite a lot for your money. Let me explain. You get a car wash concierge and security, an exercise room, a gym, a hot tub, a spa, a party room, an indoor pool, a sauna, a steam room, squash, racket, and tennis courts, visitor parking, and a workshop. Um, I also heard there's a driving range. Don't quote me, but this is what I've heard. So not too bad considering all of that is included. You also get two parking spots, which is nice. Take a look at the pictures on this one. It's a really nice unit. It's been immaculately maintained. It's a lot of space. It's a big kitchen for a condo, big bedrooms, and some really nice views. Uh, and that's one of your amenities to your indoor pool. Don't forget that is an adult community. Um, but if anybody out there is looking to get into that kind of building, this is a really great opportunity with lots of space. 
Next, we have 2061 Redstone Crescent in Oakville. This is up in Westmount. This is uh, just southwest of Third Line in Dundas. This is on at 475. It is a two-story freehold townhouse. It's an end unit, I think I mentioned. All your appliances are included, except for the fireplaces that they've got in there. Um, it's five bedroom. I believe it's four plus one. Not positive. Uh, they say it's about 2,100 square feet. It's a fully finished basement. Let me show you through the pictures here. It's not a good size lot too, actually. Which one is this redstone? It's an end unit. Yeah, main floor laundry too, which is really nice. Take a look at this place. It's beautiful. Really good size kitchen. Definitely huge bathroom. Fantastic. And a great basement. It'd be really nice to have the kids play down there or, or have your friends to hang out. And a great backyard with the hot tub, which is included. So again, that's on at 475 in Westmount. Then we've got 2220 Hummingbird Way. This is just northwest of a uh, third line in Upper Metal. It's on at 479. It's a townhouse, but it's a raised bungalow. These are really uncommon, but they're really neat. They're very uh, in demand. It's a two plus one bedroom. It's got three bathrooms and a powder room. It's a fully finished basement. The fact that it's a raised bungalow makes the basement super bright. Your windows are enormous down there and you don't feel like you're in a dungeon or in the basement because you've got so much natural light coming in. It's really comfortable. You gain a lot of usable living space like that. Let me show you the pictures of this place. Whoops. It's a nice one. It's been really well kept. Nicely decorated. Nice neutral colors. It's a good one. Hardwoods on the main floor. Good kitchen. Wait till you see the basement. I like it. That's the basement. Doesn't that not look like a basement? It's so bright. And a nice deck in your backyard. That's a great location too. So again, that's on at 479. Then we have 1229 Kensington Park Road. This is in Falgerwood. It's at 8th Line and Grand Boulevard area. This is on for 559.9. This place has been redone top to bottom. It's gorgeous. Just wait. It's a freehold raised bungalow, fully detached on a nice big lot, 60 by 150 really great size. It's a two plus one bedroom. So there's two on the main level and one in the basement, which is fully finished. I believe it has a separate entrance. Am I right? Maybe not. Let me take a peek through here. Look at this place. Done to the nines. Look at that kitchen. I just want to have my friends over and cook them a big huge meal and enjoy because that kitchen is something else. I think we could all maybe even enjoy cooking a little bit if we were in that kind of a kitchen. The finishes in this place are fantastic. Look at those bathrooms that you feel like you're in a spa when you're in that kind of a bathroom. That's so relaxing and, and welcoming. And again, a nice, really bright basement. And that's a little bedroom in the basement. And a nice backyard, a really good size. And you have deck to entertain in the summer. And uh, and that's another view of your deck. So $5.99.9, a fully renovated bungalow. Not too bad. Then we've got $239 excuse me, Tristina Drive in Oakville. This is a Coronation Park area. It's in southwest Oakville. Um, it's on for 709 Not too bad. This is a huge house. Doesn't look like it. Look at that picture. Doesn't really look like it. But it is a five-level side split. You have so much space in these things. It's nuts. It has four bedrooms plus a den in the basement that could be treated as a fifth bedroom. It's got three bathrooms, a fully finished basement, a pool, a sprinkler system, let me show you through the pictures because it's a cool one. Tons of house. Updated kitchen, not too bad. Really nice and bright. Lots of windows in this place. Nice hardwoods. Wait till you see the size of the master bedroom. Look at that. It's enormous. Not too bad. And that's your first level of your basement. That's where it's nice and bright. You have the big, huge windows. And then this is your lowest level of the basement. Again, tons of living space down there. Lots of room for kids to play and have friends over. And that's your backyard. You could spruce it up, do some really nice landscaping, and make it just beautiful. Next, we've got 2237 Colonel William Parkway in Oakville. This is at Barranti Road in Richview uh, Boulevard area. This is on for 714.9. This is a bungalow loft. It's fully detached, freehold. These are really neat properties. Again, kind of like the bungalow townhouse. These are not very, very common. They're starting to become because they're so popular. So builders are doing it a bit more. It's a three bedroom. Uh, basement's unfinished, but this place is beautiful. It's just beautiful. It's got the granite countertops and the stainless steel. It's a monarch 
uh, built home. It's got uh, hardwoods on the main level and the second level. Look at this place. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love it. I think it's so beautiful. Anyways, that's your dining room. Really nice. Um, they've done this place beautifully. It's really nicely decorated and the finishes are fantastic. Great hardwoods throughout. Really good sized rooms in these places. Um, and again, that's up in Brawny Creek for $714.9. We've got 2584 Northridge Trail. This is on at $7.99. This is at Dundas and Avon area, kind of southeast of there. Mm, this one is, oh, it's got a nice landscape backyard. It's got a saltwater pool, uh, nine foot ceilings. It's a big house. It's just under 3,300 square feet. So a whole lot. It's four bedrooms with an unfinished basement. We don't have many pictures, but that's the pool. Pretty beautiful. I wouldn't mind hanging out there in the summertime. They can invite me over or you can invite me over. It's a double garage parking for four. Um, it's 32.75 square feet. Not too bad. That's a whole lot of house for $7.99. Then we've got 2312 Tesla Crescent in Oakville. It's in Joshua Creek. Gets on for $8.69.9. It's not too far from the last house. This is around Dundas and it's lined as well. And this is a fully detached two-story home. It's four bedrooms, separate entrance to the basement. Um, it's a nice one. We don't know a whole lot. It's got professional stainless steel appliances, if that makes a difference. Who wears the cook, right? So take a peek at those. If you have any questions about any of these properties or you want to go and take a look at them, give me a shout. I'd be happy to show you. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning. And then on Monday morning, we're going to go over uh, the weekend's new listings. So don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will see you soon. Bye.